12 things every woman wants when she's in a relationship with you. I might get criticized for saying this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Every person, whether man or woman, becomes a better version of themselves when they are with someone. Call it Socrates' theory of soul mates or just a personal bias, but when two people come together as one, they excel at managing everything in their lives, including their own well-being. It's like having a constant mirror reflecting your thoughts, feelings, and actions. This is why we're generally nicer people in relationships, provided we're with the right partner. While I can't speak much for men, I can say that for women, these are the minimum expectations we have when entering a relationship. It's not about your money, your fidelity to other women, or even sex, at least not entirely. Relationships are about connections of the heart and mind and how these translate into reality. Think of this not as a rule book for dealing with women, but as a guide to establishing healthy relationships where women don't nag or obsess, and men don't get angry and leave. 1. An innate closeness. Closeness can mean different things at different times. It can be physical, emotional, or mental. When you combine all three aspects, you reach a transcendental level of closeness. You don't need to be in the same room to feel this connection, but when you are, the energy between you is powerful enough to affect everyone else around. You want to be close in every way, from exchanging glances across the room to holding her tight because you can't imagine it any other way, that's just how deep the connection goes. And even then, that isn't the closest you can be. 2. Signs of Certainty She needs to be sure. She needs clarity about your intentions, or lack thereof. What do you want to happen between the two of you? Are you hiding an agenda? Do you want to see where things go, or are you looking for something more concrete? Do you see a future with her, or is this just a momentary fling? Whatever it is, she wants to know so she doesn't waste her feelings on something that isn't going to materialize. For women, certainty and stability are often interchangeable because the two are directly related. There can't be stability without certainty, and vice versa. 3. Clarity of thought. Certainty eventually leads to clarity. When you're certain about someone or something, it will reflect in your thoughts, words, and actions. In other words, it will be evident in your behavior. But what is clarity? I ask this because often people are not clear, see what I did there. Being clear means understanding the importance of someone in your life and making an effort to show it in any way you can. Sometimes, this involves talking things out, other times, it's about taking action. When you're clear about someone in your mind, you will instinctively demonstrate it. 4. Courage to act. This brings me to my next point, acting on that clarity. In relationships, we often fail to act on impulse, instinct, or emotion. This failure is one of the main reasons why almost relationships are so common today. Whether due to convenience, the availability of options, or fear of rejection, we often choose not to act on a particular feeling, even if it seems right at the moment. Soon, the moment passes, and so does the will to act. In relationships, actions always speak louder than words, though words are just as, if not more, important. There needs to be alignment between your words and actions. You can't do one thing and say something completely contradictory. Confusion leads to doubt, which is never beneficial. 5. Constant Communication Humans are inherently communicators. We each have our own ways, some talk, some listen, and some convey their thoughts without saying much. The important thing is to get your message across before it's too late. And yes, there is such a thing as too little, too late. While relationships and connections hinge on timing, it doesn't take long for that moment to slip away, leaving you regretting a missed opportunity. Communication is what separates what if from hell yeah. Find a way to express everything you need to say, and do it in the moment, before it's lost. 6. Gentleness of touch. People often underestimate the power of gentleness. It's one of the most underused and underappreciated qualities, despite being crucial in building strong relationships. Why do we fail to recognize how gentle someone is when it's so important? 
Gentleness is not the same as weakness, in fact, it's a silent strength. When a woman notices and values this trait in you, it's because she understands its significance in a man. Too often, men are obsessed with being brutish and fitting into stereotypical notions of manliness, forgetting to be human and gentle with others. In my honest opinion, it is gentleness that truly differentiates a man from a boy. 7. Patience to understand. Women can be complex and confusing, often exhibiting what I call mishabits. These aren't quite habits but rather patterns women sometimes deviate from, especially when they're scared or upset and don't know how to express it. Deep down, women are aware of this. We know that sometimes we lead you on, confuse you, push you away, and then pull you back in, all while trying not to do any of it. All we want is for you to be patient and understanding. We can erupt like a volcano over the smallest things and cry unexpectedly, all while trying to stay composed and normal so as not to scare you away. Women have a habit of digging up past experiences and equating everything to them. As a result, you might find yourself compared to an ex who is no longer in the picture or snubbed because of something that happened ages ago and still hurts. What every woman really needs is a man who is patient with her. She'll come around, she always does. 8. A sense of control. Putting aside the whole feminism debate, and I'm fully supportive of it, women do appreciate men who can and do take control in relationships. Don't confuse this with what happens in bed, they're two very different things. This doesn't mean always picking up the tab on dates, although you should offer occasionally, this is more about relationship dynamics than feminism. It means understanding that her indecisiveness may require you to step up and take the reins, even if it's just to sit her down and encourage her to make a decision. Sometimes, women are the more sensible ones, but there are moments when she might not know what to do next. She might be worried about taking a step because she fears the consequences, even if she knows it's the right thing to do. You need to take charge and encourage her to move forward regardless. Be the pillar she needs you to be. 9. Mutual Respect Respect in a relationship is one of the most underrated and often overlooked aspects. It goes beyond just the literal sense and extends to respecting boundaries. This means valuing your partner's opinions without trying to manipulate them. Whether it's something as simple as preferences in a sexual act or as complex as deciding the next step in your relationship, respect is crucial. It involves honoring each other's personal space and mental resilience. It's not about testing limits to see how far you can push before she breaks. It means understanding that her being okay with your female friends doesn't give you the license to flirt or ogle at others. Her approval to be open doesn't mean you can treat her as an option. It's as simple as respecting her dislike for alcohol or her preference for sleeping on the right side of the bed. And, of course, this respect goes both ways. 10. Deeper Understanding Naturally, respect leads to understanding. They are intertwined in a relationship of mutual existence. One cannot exist without the other, it's that simple. Yes, she may be complex and challenging, and sometimes she might frustrate you to the point of wanting to pull your hair out or jump off a building, or worse. But take a moment to genuinely understand why she says or does things the way she does. There's always a reason, even if it's deeply rooted. Often, women don't speak up about their reasons out of fear or past experiences where they weren't listened to or understood. Understanding her motivations can turn a potential argument into a constructive dialogue, which is always preferable because it avoids leaving both of you in a negative place. That's not the purpose of your relationship. Admittedly, her actions may not always make sense to you, but try to see things from her perspective, even when it's challenging. Let her know that you're willing to understand, and she will open up to you. 11. Freedom to be. Granting a woman in a relationship with you the freedom to simply exist is one of the most valuable gifts you can offer. It goes beyond allowing her to be herself, it's about embracing her essence of being. The term being encompasses a profound sense of purpose unrelated to changing the world. It involves accepting people and circumstances as they are, recognizing the limits of control, 
and relinquishing worry over the uncontrollable. It's about surrendering to the flow of life and trusting in destiny's course. Not everyone can embody this state of being. When you truly allow her to be, she can become the happy person that both of you deserve to be, and so will you. 12. The Art of Consistency In today's modern world, consistency remains one of the rarest treasures. Finding someone or something that reliably stays the course is a challenge. In an era where even smartphone internet connections can falter, the human mind presents an even greater complexity. It's crucial not to mistake predictability for dullness. On the contrary, being predictable signifies steadfast loyalty. Consistency means following through on commitments and, if unforeseen circumstances arise, communicating openly about them. It means being there at the end of each day, every day, for the rest of your lives together, and vice versa. Consistency means persevering, refusing to surrender, and persistently breaking down the barriers she erects. It means comforting her through tears and reconciling at 80 years old, just as you did at 30. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.